Hello everybody. Welcome to the Hobby and Craft Room. Here I have my crafts with the Cricut and a model train layout that I'm building, an end scale layout. So, and in some cases the two are going to be combined. I'm going to start setting up playlists for each, the crafts and the, the model train layout. If you're new here, please hope you enjoy it I gotta tell you I was pretty astonished by all the reaction I got with my cross and my you know the dove in the cross so I had to do a video and first of all I'll tell you give you a size uh, got my little yardstick here so we're looking at maybe nine and a half, nine and three quarters long and uh, six inches, six and a half inches wide. I had a number of, I, I gotta tell you, I was totally astonished by the reaction for this. And uh, you can see it's one thirty-second basswood, that's what the maker can cut. And a lot of questions how long it took where I got the basswood everything like that so I decided to do a video I hope you enjoy it um, first question that I got quite a bit of was where did I get the basswood you know Joann's and Michael's has a decent selection but a lot of it is like three inches wide it's like 24 inches long but it's only three four inches wide there is a website I haven't used it yet called nationalbalsa.com and they have basswood and balsa of course but the this sheet that I cut the cross out of and it's what it is let's see it's 11 inches long and eight inches wide this is a good sheet and I got this from Amazon and I'll put it up and it it says for the Cricut maker um, that you know it's basswood 132nd you get five sheets I forget how much it is I'll put the the link up on the web on the video so I hope that this is an instructional video on how to use design space to create your own designs. Um, I use weld, slice in this. Um, I didn't use attach, um, but I used weld and slice and, and stuff like that. So let's go to design space and I'll show you how I made the the cross with the dove so here we are in design space and we need to uh, get the dove so we're gonna go to Google and then go to images and type in Calvary Chapel Dove and I will leave a link to the one that I think I used I'll leave a link in the description so I used I think the one the sixth one over on the top line because it's solid and what I mean by that is the black line around it is solid where this blue one has a couple breaks in it and that could be problematic when you're um, cutting it and stuff like that so I left click on the mouse on that image and then I right clicked here and brought up save image and then I saved it into my Cricut file and I highly suggest that you make a file 
for your Cricut projects, your your clip art, the stuff that you save, um, so that you know where it all is. So I type in Calvary One, which is the file name that I gave it, and then I go back to I, we go back to Design Space, and then click Upload, and then I go to browse and I um, I type it in and bring it up. So type in Calvary One. So I, I never really understood the difference between the simple, the moderately complex, and complex, but I think it's kind of, if you're doing a print and cut where it's, you know, a little more detailed picture or something like that, so here I'm going to click on moderately complex, and now you got to get rid of the background, uh, all the white behind the dove and in the middle. Select the wand and then select all the backgrounds that you want to eliminate and that changes to the purple and white blue and white purple and white checkerboard that means the background is gone so the left side is if you want to use your printer to print out a picture and then have it cut it and then the right side is just if you're doing a cut file so I select the just the cut file and then I hit continue so now it brings it up onto my library where all my uploaded images are I select it and you see it with a green box and then it's down by where it says insert so now we have our dove now we have to get the cross made so we do that by getting going to shapes and you can do this two ways you can actually you, you can select two squares and change each one of them but I'm going to unlock proportions equal proportions so I can make it narrow and then I'm going to duplicate it to make the, the other piece. So we hit duplicate and whatever's selected um, duplicates and then we're going to rotate this sideways you know, 270 degrees. You, you can either do it manually or you can type it in and uh, this would either be a 90 or 270 degrees and so I put 270 now we're gonna kind of size it up I'm gonna narrow it or shorten it a little bit and that's looking good so I gotta center it up now we're going to weld the two pieces together to make it one. So we're going to click off of it and then select both of them. And you see both of them are selected in the right margin there. Uh, they're both gray. The dove is not selected. So I'm going to hit weld on the bottom. So now we have our cross. It's all one piece. I can move it, size it, and it all sizes together. So now I move the dove into place, and it comes up behind the cross. And here I, I'll enlarge the cross, and then the dove is a little too big, so we're going to size it down a little bit. And I'm going to go up to a range. and select move to front
click off of it when I get it in position and select both of them select both of them and then go down to the lower right hand corner and see they're both selected because they're both gray on the right margin and I'm gonna hit slice down at the bottom so now it's sliced into the cross the dove is sliced into the cross. But here, I make a mistake. And I did not duplicate the dove before I sliced it. So now I have all these little pieces, but I don't have a whole dove. So now I go up to the upper left hand corner. use the back arrow to save this. Hit it like three times. One more, two more times. And now the dove, pull the dove away and go up to the top and hit duplicate. So, now I have my, my dove, now I can go back to slicing it, so I put it back on the cross, and that back arrow can be your best friend. I can't tell you how many times I've used that back arrow when I really realized that I've made a mistake. So don't get frustrated, don't think you have to cancel your whole project, just hit that back arrow a couple times till you get to a spot where you can do the project the way you want. So I'm going to select off of the cross and the dove and then select both of them. Now I can slice that thing. So now I've cut the dove into the cross but I have to get the center stuff out. And you do it by slicing. Just like I sliced the dove into the cross, I can slice all those little pieces out. Go to shapes. And I get a circle. And I size it down and put it there. Now I have to be careful that I don't cut out any of the outlines of the dove that I've sliced into the, the uh, cross. So I, zero, I zoom in. Um, that zoom in is in the lower left hand corner. I went to 200%. Unlock the proportion so I can elongate the circle. And you don't want to cut any of those outlines of the dove's tail. That's going to be where that other dove goes and you weld it into the cross. So I narrowed the circle, drop it down a little bit, and pull it as far as I can without hitting the outline of the dove. Click off of it. Highlight both of them, and you see over in the right margin, they're highlighted. Now I slice it, now it's all on that circle, and it's disappeared. So now I have to go back out to 100% view so that I can move the cross off of that cut material. And get that out of the way. So I'm going to separate 
So this is a couple layers. This is part of the circle and it's part of the material that you cut out of the cross. So you can use this to cut some more, to slice some more out of the inner section of that cross. So I'm going to take this kind of odd looking piece and I'm going to get it to take out that bottom section that I don't want. I'm going to zoom back in, slide it over so I can see what I'm doing and take, take that out. I'm trying to be really careful not to cut the outline of the dove out of that bottom part of the cross. But I want to get as much as I can. So I'm kind of finicking around with it. And I'm happy with it. I'm going to slice it. back out to 100%, get where I can see the cross, move the cross out. Now I've taken out most of it. There's a little dot right there on the bottom, the top of part of that bottom post. And there's a couple pieces on the right side. And so I'm going to grab a rectangle, release the proportion lock. I'm going to make this really small and get that piece on the right side. Rotate it to the angle that I need. And it looks really good. So I'm going to click off of it and then click both of them and slice and remove it. Get rid of that. So now I got that little dot there. So I'm going to grab a circle. Make it really small, just enough to cover that dot. Select both of them and slice. And now that little piece is gone. So now I can still use that circle after I delete these two pieces. I can uh, use the rest of that circle to get that last piece right there. And clean up the whole thing. Click off of it drag a box across both of them, slice, and now it's all clean. So now I'm going to get rid of that, bring the dove in, line the dove up, click on the cross, move the cross where I need it to be, to uh, line up with the dove. There we go, it's touching all four corners. Click off of it. Now go back to 100% view. Select both of them and weld it. Now you have all one piece. Now you can size it to fit whatever material you have. I hope you enjoyed that. I, I worked on it for a little while to you know, get it and then I let it sit on design space for a while and I didn't know what to cut it out of 
you know, because like, like I said at the beginning, Joann's, Michael's, they don't sell wide stuff. I mean, I can find it every once in a while. But that Amazon is, is pretty good. Now, I will tell you that when I cut stuff out of this, a lot of times... I'll have to go back with an X-Acto knife just to make sure some pieces are cut all the way through where the maker missed it. And, you know, with the knife blade. And uh, uh, so I, I'll sit there and I guess it's almost like weeding vinyl. Um, I'll sit there and uh, watch a video or watch something and uh, just kind of cut cut through with the X-Acto knife. It does a pretty good job. This, this stuff from Amazon seems like a little thicker. So just be patient with it. I mean, make sure you have obviously the strong grip mat, uh, the knife blade, and painter's tape to secure the basswood to the strong grip mat. Also, a lot of questions that I've seen about why basswood or balsa doesn't come up on an iPad or something like that. You have to have the maker directly plugged into a laptop or a desktop. Because the cut takes like 20-25 minutes, it's got to go through 14 passes to, you know, systematically cut through. You have to have it plugged directly in with the USB plug. Also, you have to disable the um, computer or laptop's sleep or standby mode. If it goes to sleep, the cricket will stop the project. If you have any more questions, please put it in the comments below. Um, I will answer them the best I can. Also, feel free to ask questions on the Cricut Facebook pages. We're all here to help. Another thing that is really close to my heart. I, we do these crafts to give to somebody. Um, I see a lot of times people say, well, it's not perfect. We're not here to do perfect stuff. I, I don't think I am. Um, I'm here to give my heart. And if it's not perfect, we, we see all the mistakes, right? I mean, <laughs> seriously, we see, you know, that vinyl's not completely straight. Or we see, you know, uh, an S is missing a piece of it. The people we give it to see our heart. They don't see the mistakes. It's made by an imperfect human to give to another imperfect human that is either struggling and you want to build them up, tell them you're walking with them, or they're sitting on top of a mountain rejoicing and you're rejoicing with them. We make this stuff, the spinner cups, the shadow boxes, the, the the basswood, the cutouts of basswood, the etching glass, you name it, everything. We don't, the, the cards, the greeting cards. I, I make cards to, to build people up. We make it to give our heart away to tell somebody we care about them, either on the mountain or on the valley. That's what it is. This is supposed to be fun. I've seen so many times people say, I don't know 
You know, I, I'm, I'm afraid. I, I, I haven't taken, I spent $300 or $250 on a machine. I haven't taken it out of the box. I'm afraid. I'm scared. Guess what? You're going to make mistakes. You're going to cut the vinyl wrong. The vinyl's going to come off the mat while it's being cut. I, I've lost so much basswood because I haven't secured it properly. This is how we share our hearts with people. Bless somebody tomorrow. Bless somebody the next day. This is what we do. This is the gift that God has given us. Thank you everybody for watching. God bless you.